Welcome to Java JSM and in this video we are going to discuss about exception handling in Java and exception handling is very very important topics in Java okay so definitely you have to aware about the exception handling and uh, in the real time project or what are the industry level project we are doing definitely it's uh, playing a very important role in that okay so let's start now so here if you see exception handling in java so first we can discuss like what is the exception handling then after one by one we can discuss each and everything inside the exception handling okay so let's start with the exception handling so what do you mean by exception handling the exception handling is a mechanism mechanism is nothing but one of the way to write some code okay that's enable you to handle errors or exceptional condition that occurs during the program execution okay so it's a mechanism mechanism means something logic you have to keep in your minds and whenever error is uh, happen it will put one condition that occurs during the program execution time okay when error and uh, exception occurs java automatically throw an exception you don't want to write anything it's automatically throw the exceptions okay uh, might be you see like when i give the array index is out of bound exception or index uh, a, a string index out of bound exceptions so those exceptions like if the particular index is not available then definitely it's throw the one exception which is automatically and we have not handle still because that time we don't know exception handling concept but once you learn these things again we can implement those topics again we can write a code and we can understood how we can prevent how we can uh, protect our code while happening the exceptions how we can provide the alternate way when exception is occurred okay so those things we can discuss it the next point is like uh, the exception object contain the information so the exception means nothing but it's not something is a wrong things but it's uh, contains the information about the error so for example you have a very big project and you got exception so if exception just gives something exception name you can't understood like where this exception is occurred in the entire project almost uh, uh, 1000 2000 of the classes are the available in particular project and uh, you are trying to identify like in which class exception is occurred that is not possible so because of that exception handling is giving a offer to us hey we can put some message also so that you can understood this exception where exactly it's occurred in which class in which method in which package okay okay let's move to the fourth point the handle exception in java you can use the try catch block so i hope it's a very popular handling exceptions we are using the try and catch block okay but uh, you can postpone the exception also you can um, like redirect the response also and exception also using the throw and throws keyword okay so we are using the like four keyword while handling handling a exception uh, one is try and catch this is the two keywords and we are using the finally and uh, we are using the finally block and then after we are using the uh, throw and throws keyword throw and throws those are the differences okay so those we are keyword we are using the try uh, the try block contains the code that may throw an exception okay so basically this is the fifth point and it's saying like the try block contains the code contain the code that may throw an exception and the catch block contains the code that handle the exception here is the example okay so it means that whenever in the like a try block any exception is occurred or maybe the problems or maybe the something misconception will happen and uh, whatever the data you provided because of that some exception is occurred so what will happen it will move to the directly to the catch block okay for example if i tell you if you divide any number with the zero any number for example 10 by 0 
सो इफ यू डिवाइड द नंबर विथ जीरो सो दो विल बिकम अन इनफाइनाइट सो इफ इट इज बिकम इनफाइनाइट देर इज नो डेटा टाइप वी हैव इन द जावा टू एक्सेस और स्टोर दो वैल्यू इनफाइनाइट सो बिकॉज ऑफ दैट वी आर गेटिंग वन एक्सेप्शन विच इज डिवाइडेड बाई जीरो एक्सेप्शन और बिकम ए इनफाइनाइट ऑफ द वैल्यू ओके सो दो एक्सेप्शन यू कैन गेट ओके वी कैन डू द प्रैक्टिकल सो दैट यू कैन अंडरस्टूड ओके लेट्स मी गो टू दॉट वी कैन से एस टी एस एंड हेयर आई एम गोइंग टू क्रिएट वन प्रोजेक्ट हेयर नाउ इट्स ए न्यू प्रोजेक्ट सो क्लिक ऑन फाइल गो टू द न्यू क्रिएट न्यू प्रोजेक्ट ओके न्यू क्रिएट न्यू प्रोजेक्ट एंड हेयर आई विल राइट Java project because we have to create a Java project. So click on Java and give the project name. So I will give the name called exception handling. Exception handling. This is the project name, but it will not take any space in that. Okay, let me create. Finish it. Open perspective. Fine. Okay. So here, if you see, we have created one project called Exception. Inside this, we have a one module dot info. So I don't want. So I can delete it. so click on that delete and finally we have deleted okay now in the exceptions i will create one more class okay along with the class i will create a package also com dot exception and here i will give test exception okay so text exception class i have created in that class i will create one main method so let me create a main methods a m a i n so you can see this main method is created and inside the main method what i will do is i will write one line of the code like as out and just divide a numbers with zero okay let's run it so once you run you get some exception i will show you once you run you can get one exception the exception name is automatic exception by divided by 0 okay so this is the exception and this is the message so the exception name is java dot lang dot automatic exception and the message is by 0 so we can see here it's providing a message also so that we can understood in which class the exception is occur here if you see it's mentioned the com dot exception so our package name is com dot exception our class name is test it's properly mentioned the line number 6 you are getting this error okay so through that only we can understood okay i am getting the exception in com dot exception and in this package having a one class called test exception so this is the text exception class inside this having one method called main so maybe the one class having a multiple method but not every method got those exception only main methods and what is the line number so you can see the line number also line number 6 you are getting the exception so if you go here you can see here line number 6 only we are getting the exception okay that much clear he giving the clear cut knowledge for example i want to write a code to protect this exception i don't want to print this exception like that okay i just want to print the message and those message is our message i don't want to print those so what i will do i will put this particular line i have a suspension like this line is giving the exception so i will put this line inside the try block and corresponding i will write the catch block okay in the catch block you have to write which type of the exception is occurred those exception otherwise you can write the those parent classes so i am writing the parent classes 
right now we are getting the exception called arithmetic exception but arithmetic exception parent class is exception so parent is able to take the value of a yeah, object of child class no issue in that and here i will write one customized message which is our own message and i will print don't divide i will print don't divide any value with zero so this is the my message so i know if you go to this line of the code definitely we got exception so it will come inside the catch block and it will print this message let me run so that you can understood so if i run this you can see the message properly don't divide any value with the zero because we are getting the exception in this line number 7 and uh, alternate of that we have given some other way to do this okay i hope you understood let me go to the particular slide and let's go to the i hope this uh, point is covered let's go and see the hierarchy of the exception so if you see here this is the hierarchy so what is the parent class of uh, exception classes it's a throwable so whenever uh, in the interview room anybody peoples or interviewer will ask you hey what is the parent class of the uh, exception class so you have to tell the throwable and in the so many objective also you have to pick it this throwable okay and what is the uh, classes which is parent of every classes okay which is object classes so throwable parent is object classes but exception for the exception hierarchy who is the parent throwable only okay throwable and throwable having a two child one is exception other one is error error having some other type of the errors okay but if you go with the exception exception having a remaining different different type of the exception like more uh, more uh, checked uh, exception okay input output exception class not found exception uh, clone not supported exception runtime exception so these are the type of the exception if you go below again if you see uh, io exception so end of file exception file not found exception mainly formed url exception unknown host exception so there are so many type of the exception classes hierarchy are available you have to just remember it if you are able to remember otherwise you can just remember like uh, throwable class exception class exception having a some type runtime compile time and some compile time and runtime implemented class you have to aware about it otherwise if it is good if you remember each and everything so this is the runtime exception runtime exception means more runtime exception automatics exception class cast exception illegal argument exception we have seen one more thing is like index out of bound exception null pointer exception array index out of bound exception a string index out of bound exception so those exception we have already seen in the runtime and this whatever the exception as of now we have seen which is arithmetic's exception just before i have uh, divided one number with the zero so we are getting the arithmetic exception those are the uh, runtime exception you can see okay so just remember this hierarchy it's well and good okay now we can understood what is the use of throwable classes it's a parent so parent having a some responsibility definitely okay so throwable is a parent class of uh, exception classes okay so throwable class has a two direct subclasses one is error and other one is exception error represent errors that are the beyond the control of the applications so we can't handle the errors because errors means uh, something your uh, system shut down suddenly yeah maybe whatever the memory you have in your ram those are uh, full and uh, maybe the some uh, type of the like uh, whatever the processor or uh, multi threading concept we have element uh, implemented in our operating system those are not working properly and uh, whatever the because of the operations our memory will crash our ram will crash 
our system will shut down so those exceptions those are considered as a error and we can't handle it as a developer we can't handle it only we can handle the exception okay so here if you see like application such as a virtual machine errors so if you talk about the virtual machine errors if you talk about the out of memory errors and stack overflow errors those are coming into the error category but we can't handle those type of the exception okay if you go here represent the exceptional condition that can be catch and uh, handled by the exception that is called the exception but as a developer we have a capacity to handle the exception but we can't handle the error because error is depend on the system error is depend on the something component which is available in our computer system not in control of the developer we can't write a code to handle those things okay but exception we can do it okay let's talk about the exception so exception represent a exceptional condition that can be catch and handled by the application let me see some message like some methods which is available in the throwable classes so throwable classes having a some method called get message get cause get a stack trace print a stack trace so these are very very important methods okay every time we are writing get a stack trace print a stack trace get message why because we have to read the what exception exactly occurred those message and we have to print we have to uh, send the message like what exactly happened why our system is not working properly okay so that is very good uh, coding way and a standard way to write and get the message and print the proper exception message okay so every time like uh, i personally use get message and print the stack trace so many times okay and some rare case i am using the get cause and get a stack trace okay so this is the things you have to understood if you uh, use the get message what will happen return a string that contains a description of the exception or error let me let me do okay let me do so here if you see i have printed my message but i don't want to print my message i will print along with the exception occurred message so i will write s out and here whatever the exception object i have okay which is e so i will write e dot get message if i write e dot get message and if i run again what will happen you can see properly what is the message is coming divided by 0 so you have divided some element by 0 so we are getting only and only message which is generated by the java exceptions okay i hope you understood okay and uh, if you use like uh, you have a so many methods so i will do get cause cause means what is the region for that so if you run that one you can see null there is no cause okay <laughs> if you use something like uh, get uh, get a uh, stack trace okay and also use one more things like i will print it also so e dot print a stack trace print a stack trace is also very famous but it's returning the one uh, print a stack object so we have to convert it uh, to array or something like that okay so what i will do is i will remove this one i will remove this one okay and we can see like what is the return type for that so there is no return type it's internally print so you don't want to write inside the what we called uh, in the printl and if you open it you can see like uh, if you call the get uh, stack message uh, then uh, get at a stack trace then it will print this one okay and along with the some code if you write uh, this one then it will print the exception name divided and everything okay so if you use this one 
also you can use here one more things like dot to a string let's see now and this is very useful okay every time we have you are using those things okay so please remember it those are the messages very very important while printing is something okay okay so i hope you got cleared okay let me remove and go to the our slide so those are the message you can read here like return a string that contains a description of the exception or error so we have seen return the cause of the exception or error return the array of a stack trace element and this is the print all the stack trace of the exception or error standard so if you want to print all those things like exception and error everything then go with the print a stack trace if you want to print only message go with the get message this is the main useful methods we are using okay let's go to the next and here you can see the try catch and finally blocks are used for the exception handling okay the try catch and finally blocks are used for the exception handling in java the try block contains the code that may throw an exception right it's also right the catch block the catch block the catch block catch the exception and handle it and it's finally block contains the code that is executed regardless of the whether an exception should throw or not okay so basically we are using the try catch finally so finally i will tell you each and everything why we are using the finally why we are using the try why we are using the catch why throw and why throws everything so here if you see the example this is the codes so code that may throw an exception so if you have some suspension okay maybe this line of the code will throw the exception then those code you can put those line of the code you can put inside the try block so here you can see we have put it inside the try block okay if you have some confusion like a hey, way uh, this line will be give some exception so put inside the try block and corresponding you can print the message for those exception so there are the exception hierarchy also okay here you have to flow the exception hierarchy also this is also very important points okay so here in the first time you can use the child if child is not able to handle the exception then those parent you can write here if this is also not able to handle the exception then those parent you can write exception classes okay so it should be child uh, child parent uh, parent parent so this is the hierarchy you have to follow while giving the multiple catch block and finally will be one only so code that will be always executed so whatever the code you have written inside the finally block it will always execute and you can see here code to the handle exception type 1 code to the handle the exception and 2 so for example what will happen is like sometimes whatever the code we have put it inside the try block it's uh, maybe like uh, we have a two lines of the code and one lines of the code are uh, giving some exception kind uh, exception like uh, arithmetic exception other is giving the null point exception some other is giving some other exception array index out of bound exception so for that we can write a hierarchy based on the this hierarchy only okay based on that hierarchy only array index out of bound exception first then we can write index out of the bound exception then we can write runtime exception otherwise exception so in the like below to off you have to go okay child to parent you have to follow while writing a multiple catch block okay i hope you understood and these are the types of the exception okay so how many types of the exceptions are there so basically we are considering two type of the exception one is checked exception and another is unchecked exception okay and you can learn it and in the next video we can learn in the depth way what are the exception and we can do some r and d also in that okay thank you so much